So as you know already, we're gonna be getting a new Centurion Cement favorite Sony FC Mobile. It's gonna be in the next reset. If you want to know what it's all about, everything you need to know about that and everything like that, you will be able to check that one out in my video, last video before this one, okay? You're gonna be able to see uh, pretty much everything about it. I've done an event guide and everything like that. But pretty much in this video, I'm gonna talk about what you need to do before that new event comes out. There are a couple of things that you must do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some exchange packs, maybe some 96 to 90 seven overall 93 to 97 overall and all those other exchanges as well so make sure to like and subscribe if you're excited for it so as you know yep we're gonna be getting a new centurion cement there are gonna be uh, there is gonna be 97 overall ramos 97 overall neymar there is gonna be a free 91 overall ramos as well and zico um, as well as Philip Lam and all the other icons, obviously, right? One Mr. Roy, there are gonna be other icons. But before that one, first of all, what you need to do is, and I did talk about that one before, but you uh, hopefully have saved some of your hero tokens right there. If you have saved some of these hero tokens right there, you should be able to uh, transfer those hero tokens into Centurion's points. And as you know, we are gonna be getting a new board game in Centurion Cement, just like we had with Winter Wild Cards. And because of that, a lot of people are gonna get a lot of great rewards. And also don't spend any of your pass points, of course. Hopefully you've saved your pass points as well, and you're gonna be able to use your pass points to get Centurion's points as well. And that's gonna be useful just because you're gonna be able to get a lot of uh, those points straight away, and you're gonna be able to play that board game um, a lot, and you're gonna get so many rewards. If you remember with Winter Wild Cards, you probably got a lot of rewards as well back then, and I definitely did get a lot of rewards straight away. I've done that board game so many times, and I was able to get incredibly, incredibly good amount of rewards. So again, make sure you uh, wait and don't spend any of your hero heroes points right now, and make sure you save them for Centurion Cement, as well as don't spend any of your pass points. Uh, you can get pass points uh, in Star Pass, of course. I've got 280, I'm not gonna be spending any of them right now, and I'm gonna be able to get quite a lot of um, Centurion's points, I think. Also, what you need to do is you need to be ready when the event comes out. And uh, if you got gems, if you got gems saved up, you should go ahead and open those gem packs straight away when the event comes out. Because at the start of the event, the prices of these players are gonna be quite a lot, a lot more than what they're gonna be a week after the event. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open those gem packs straight away pretty much and try to pack some decent players. Whichever players you pack, uh, you're gonna be able to make some coins with that, uh, with that thing as well. But also there are gonna be new exchanges coming out right there are gonna be new centurions exchanges coming out if you don't know these are the exchanges that we're gonna get straight away right there as you can see and i think 88 to 97 overall centurions player pack is gonna be the most popular what you need to do is when the event comes out straight away you need to go ahead and check out these requirements okay you need to check out these requirements you don't exactly know what the requirements are gonna be you can probably guess for 80 to 97 overalls and 87 to 97 overalls just because we've got the similar exchanges right now as well but we don't know about 88 to 97 overalls insurance exchange what you need to do as i said is check out those requirements straight away when the new uh, new event comes out and um, you are gonna be able to see the requirements and you can make coins that way very, very easily. So pretty much if it requires, if 88 to 97 overall player pack requires 87 overall cards, you can go ahead and buy some 87 overall cards and they are definitely gonna go up in price. So that's another way you can go ahead and make a lot of coins. And also when we get the new event, um, there are gonna be new event players, of course. And um, some of those players that you've got in your squad might not be that great anymore. We're getting a free Zico, the Zico card, um, that, that is in the market right now. It is a 94 overall card, I'm pretty sure, as well. That Zico card is going to be... Um, it is gonna go down a lot in price, right? Because we're all gonna get a free 94 overall Zico anyways. Um, this is the card that I'm talking about. He's about 34 million coins now. He's going down in price. No, not, not right now, but he's gonna go down quite a lot because we're gonna get free Zico as well as all the new cards that we're gonna get. For example, um, we're gonna, we can get one Mr. Roy, Philip Lam, um, Sergio Ramos, all of those type of players. If they got cards in the market, they are gonna go down. So you, you might as well just go on and say, uh, sell those cards right now. If you got Zico in your squad that is tradable, I would suggest you to sell, sell him as well as one Mr. Roy and uh, those type of players. But also if you want, um, you, you can you can save some of those meta players. I think saving some of those meta players might be a decent idea because uh, when we get a new event, uh, just like we had with, with Winter Wild Cards, I, I remember when Winter Wild Cards came out, a lot of meta players have gone up in price just because a lot of uh, a lot of people have got so many great rewards and they've got a lot of coins uh, and they were able to buy a lot of good players. So for example, this Ginola card, this Lucio card, 
Messi, all of these type of like very, very meta players uh, might go up in price just because people are gonna have a lot more resources, a lot more coins, and they're gonna be able to buy these cards more, which means their prices are gonna go up. So I feel like it might be a decent idea for you to hold on to your meta players right now, not the ones that are getting the cards. I think um, Zico is, you need to sell Zico, uh, you need to sell uh, one Nister Royce and those type of players, but obviously it's all the risk, it's all risk, right? It's all risk. Um, you you should do everything like that uh, at your own risk because uh, investing is always a risk. But yeah, I think I, I think investing in meta players right now uh, might be a decent idea because I feel like they are gonna go up in price just like what we've seen with winter wildcards event. Let's go ahead and open some of the exchange packs now. Then we've got 80 to 97 overall MLS player pack that I'm gonna open, of course, because why the hell not? We've got a walkout from that one as well. It's just a normal one. I'm gonna skip. Oh, I skipped it, but we've got a 93 overall card. I should not have skipped it then. I should not have skipped it. We'll take a free 97 overall card. I will not say no to that one. Definitely not. Did not expect that. That, that was very, very lucky for me. Definitely. Then we're going to open 80 to 97 overall daily pack in Heroes chapter as well. We did not get a walkout this time. 82, 80 and the 77 overall. And now uh, let's go ahead and open 87 to 97s. I mean, should I open um, this pack right there? Can I? I? I think I can. Yep, I can open it. But is it a good idea for me to open it? probably no i would probably say not but i might do it as well i might do it later on i might go ahead and do that exchange either way there is also 96 97 overall exchange that i might do um i'm not sure first i'm gonna open 89 to 97 so, okay i'm gonna open this first and see what we can get from this pack first from this pack first sorry 89 to 97 overall player pack here we go give me someone good to go an icon or a hero is gonna be a finish it's gonna be a central attacking midfielder and this is Litmanen, i think yeah 92 overall not bad i guess 92 overall in the 90 overall not not a ter terrible pack actually thinking about it right now it's probably not the best idea to waste these players right now because we're gonna get new centurion cement players i'm gonna open this pack either way as well uh, and then i think i'm gonna open 93 to 97 overall uh, heroes player pack guaranteed and end the video right there okay you got 83s there we don't have 81s or 82s which is a little bit of a shame but we're gonna check out that 87 to 97 overall player pack as well and see what okay it's, it's a team of the year workout it's a decent start italian lat okay that's bad that's bad DiMarco, 90 overall yep 90 overall 87 and 87 that was a bad pack really that was quite a bad pack but we're gonna end it with 93 to 97 overall player pack and hopefully get some good in this one we're gonna put one of the untradeable cards there as well as uh, we're gonna put those two cards back and 88 overall so we're just gonna put untradeable 88 overall okay i've got a lot of these untradeable cards and that should do a decent job for me and yeah 85s do i have untradeable 85s um i think i think it should be untradeable this some of these cards and we're gonna put the marcuses okay um here we go oh um i need 82 pluses as well oh i don't have 82 pluses anymore i'm actually gonna try to buy some 82s 82 overalls because i don't want to use 85s anymore i don't want to use 85 overalls instead of that anymore so let me go ahead and buy just a couple of these 82 overall cards for like 200,000 coins. I'm not 100% sure how much they're worth. They should be just over 200k, I think. Yep, they're about that price. We're gonna just buy seven Otamendis for 230k, and that's gonna be all right for me. Yep, that's that's about it. Um, here we go, and we're gonna be able to open that pack right now. Then here we go. We're gonna just oh, what have I done? Um, let me just take some of these 88 overalls out and put the untradeable ones again. Um, this should be untradeable, I think. And then um, 85s, 84s, and we'll have to put some 84s instead of 82s. But it's okay. We're going to open it, not putting Salah in. We're going to put one of these untradeable um, Camaras. I've got a lot of Camaras. Shamo okay. I've got a lot of, a, a lot of NS series, actually. Let me put NS series. Anyways, let's open this 93 to 97 overall power pack and let's hopefully get someone good. Don't be English. Okay. It is English, sent you back. I packed him already. I packed Ledley King already. Um, and I packed Ledley King once again there. 